Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 85. Thank you so much for your constructive feedback on the HP Media Vault show. I'm really, really grateful. We don't love the idea of doing too many episodes that feature a single product, paid sponsorship or not, but at the same time, HP challenged us to be creative and try new things, and it was a really, really fun experience. HP makes some really nice hardware, and I'm glad they're giving us a chance to look at the stuff that plays well with Mac. A lot of you watch Geek Brief not because you're a self-identified geek and not because you care about tech news. A lot of you are interested in figuring out what you need to do to become a podcaster. You write and ask for a camera suggestion, I always answer, go with as much camera as you can afford, even if you have to eat ramen noodles to make it happen. If it's got to be a bargain, though, you might consider the Canon Allura 100. It's under $400, and it was just named Camcorder of the Year by CamcorderInfo.com. In tests, quality compared to more expensive models, but also the Allura 100 has one feature that is imperative if you're going to do a web TV show, a mic input. You don't usually get that blessing without spending more. Battery life is about two and a half hours per charge. If you can spend a little more and HD is your goal, I recommend the Sanyo Exacti HD1A. I tried one of these out the week I was in Toronto and image quality was flawless. Here's a clip from the set of Call for Help. Who has that? Um, <laughs> oh, there it is. That's when you probably take a picture. Oh, you take a picture. I'm just a freeze when I take a picture? Yes. That's a bad thing. That's I love yeah, if you, you could do it. I thought that was really cool. You could take right. a picture within the... Yeah, no, it stutters when you do so that. 25. Is that the one that we would want to use? The Zac hd one a records to standard SD memory cards, so you don't have to record to tape and then transfer to the computer for editing. Having to do that is a time waster. It also compresses to MPEG-4, and you can even set it to record an iPod-ready file. Although, I would prefer to record at full quality and compress because you never know if you might be able to repurpose your footage. Unfortunately, you can't use this camera to shoot straight to your computer hard drive, or at least we couldn't find it, and the mic input was smaller than an 8th inch standard. Someone who bought one after talking to Neil, the electronics evangelist, said it comes with a mic adapter. Then, say you're a one-man show. You have an idea to shoot yourself on the go. The QuickPod is a handheld monopod that lets you shoot yourself as you move about. You mount your camera on a QuickPod, and it extends the camera to a more natural distance from your face. No more asking strangers to take a picture of you and your special someone. This gives you the ability to do it all on your own. When you're done, you have to publish, and after about a billion emails, I've just come to the conclusion that we've done a lousy job explaining Podshow. You can start a show on Podshow without signing a contract, without any commitment. Podshow hosts your files and covers your bandwidth cost. If you successfully build an audience, they even may make it possible for you to quit your day job. If you're thinking about doing a podcast and you're not thinking about using Podshow Podcast Network, think again. Kevin Gunn's favorite flavor of Splenda flavor blends is mocha. Mine too. He says it also helps overcome the fact that the coffee pot at work makes bitter coffee no matter what quality of beans he uses. Tell me your story by calling 206-600-4458. Oh, and one more thing. When we formed the Geek Intelligence Agency, we actually didn't comprehend its future as an international organization of gadget spies. but. That's what it's become. So, in honor of our international status, we're searching for an English Callie Lewis to do a weekly recap for Geek Brief UK. The trick that may prove impossible is that we need an English girl who lives in or around Dallas. You know my email address. If you know a beautiful girl who's English with poise and presentation who just happens to live in or around Dallas, I need an introduction. Please watch Studio 60, start at the beginning, and then watch it live. You can get past episodes from iTunes or the latest episode at NBC.com. Not only is the writing spectacular, when we watch, we experience the whole range of emotions. It's beautiful, beautiful writing. It's everything we love about being American. We laugh, we cry, we're inspired. Please, if you can, give it a shot. I'm Callie Lewis, and if it'll keep Studio 60 on the air, I'm not ashamed to beg. But at the same time, the HP challenged us. <laughs> Another Pod Show video podcast. Stick it on your screen.